Um, hence the reason why I stayed, especially in the South Fulton area, to teach uh, young black uh, young black boys and young black girls. And so for me, black literature as a whole, I think shaped uh, who I am. Who, I guess the DeAndre that people know today. That's awesome, DeAndre. Well, tell us, do you have a business, a brand, or just anything great going on in your world that you want listeners to know about? So, yes, um, I'm really excited about. So I took, when I took this leap of faith, I took a lot of leaps of faith. Um, I left my position, uh, at a posi- I left, left my job back in October because I really wanted to brand my, again, I was always known as the educational advocate, but I really wanted to brand myself uh, and brand the business I was doing. And so I took a leap of faith and started the Courageous Man Foundation. The Courageous Man Foundation, of course, is an organization that helps younger men and older men define what their manhood is and and not the stereotypical social uh, construct of what manhood is, but help them define who they are as men in society. And so one of the things that we're working on right now is to work with men who are incarcerated, trying to help them as a rehabilitation program, a real rehabilitation program, where we provide courses to help them with fatherhood. A portion of their visit is dealing with fatherhood, I'm sorry, dealing with the lesson they're learning. The other half is they're actually getting to practice that with the visit from their kids. And so they get eight weeks of straight visits. Um, And then ultimately they will, it will then push them into a internship program outside the jail, which would then allow them opportunities to start rehabilitating, to have an internship with a business, which will ultimately hopefully give them an actual job when they come out there, a place to stay because they make it so hard for men who are incarcerated to be able to re to come re to re-enter into society. Uh, and then of course, with the young men's side, we're really helping with mentoring and redeveloping them. We have a basketball program that I started some years back. I've been a basketball coach in the Southwest Atlanta for the last 10 years. And so we're expanding our basketball program. And so that's the uh, courageous man foundation arm. Then we have, of course, my consulting firm, Pickett Fitness Consulting, where we're going to be doing a lot of educational workshops um, coming up very soon, actually. Um, so I'll be telling people to tune in to my Facebook page, tune into my, fa- uh, my website, um, because we're doing some educational workshops on what it means to be a charter school, what it, what it means to be a public charter school, what it means to be a governing board, a governing body. We're going to be teaching young people about the uh, political process. What is the electoral college? What does it mean to vote? How to vote? Um, what is it? What polit- what is a political party? How do you determine what political party you are? As far as what are, you, are you conservative? Are are you um, liberal? Teaching them the entire process and what that means. And so we have a lot of things coming down the pipeline that I'm really excited about. That doesn't necessarily deal with me, but it deals about educating us and educating people so they can be prepared for whatever is out there. Because right now, the way society is, we have to educate, not just our young people, but we have to educate everyone who do, who do not know. And so that is my goal, especially for 2018, making sure that we're educating everybody. Um, unfortunately, I'm leaving, like I said, I left the South Side, um, but I haven't, uh, I've left the South Side as living there. But I will never forget the South Side because I've been there 16 years and it's been where my love has been. And so I will still be doing a lot of workshops and a lot of things with some of the residents as well as some of the elected officials in the South Side. But I've decided to take um, all the things that I've done and move it to another area. Um, and so you'll hear, they'll, people will hear more about that as we uh, move forward in what Courageous Man, uh, the Courageous Man Foundation and Pick a Physics Consultant will be doing as well. Great. So with Courageous Man, is there a website people can find it on online? So everything will be coming through imdspicket.com. So they can go to imdspicket.com. Um, I'm telling everybody, give me about, because uh, we're doing another full launch on the 15th. And so uh, I'm asking everybody right now to uh, follow me on Facebook, on Instagram, uh, and Twitter, and LinkedIn, whatever the case may be, to see the big launch because we will come back on the 15th, uh, and there'll be a, it'll be tied together. So it'll be the IMDS Picket website, and then, of course, there'll be branches of how they can find uh, the different things going on with Greatest Man, with Picket Fist Consulting, with Pick West Designs, uh, everything that we're doing. Uh, they'll be able to go to that website very, uh, on officially one week from today. 
So that is awesome, DeAndre. Before we close out, please share with us a wise quote. Tell us that quote and tell us what makes it profound. So I have two because ultimately for me, it has, there's two quotes that have helped me throughout my life. The first quote is made famous by Dr. Benjamin e. Mays, which is every man and woman is born to this world to do something distinctive and unique. And if he or she doesn't do it, it'll never be done. The reason why that is so profound to me is because of the fact, not just because I'm a Mays High graduate, but because of the fact that that says it speaks so many volumes. The reason why so many things in life has not occurred yet is because of the fact that we have yet to do it. We have to get into a position and a place where we start really uh, taking, uh, realizing who we are. And I think uh, a, lot of the, a lot of the changes in this world, a lot of the changes in society have not come to pass yet because we have not fully come into who we are. I wake up every day with the mindset that something requires you. Something requires you. Something somewhere requires you. And so for me, I'm really excited about that. Something requires you. The second quote, some are meant for your development, but not necessarily for your growth. We wow. do, we get, and that's actually a quote that I coined. We get so caught up so often in, uh, Having needing to have everybody around us and then having everyone in our circle and not realizing that some people are just there to help you get to the next dimension and to the next place. But they're not meant to stay there with you. And so don't get upset when you start transitioning and you start elevating and people are, are scared or people are quote unquote haters or people don't agree or people don't understand because not everybody was meant to understand where you're being taken. And so as long as you realize that you're destined for something, like Dr. May said, and as long as you realize that you may have to go by yourself, like I stated, you will always be greater because of the fact that you know that there's always something you have to strive for. So those two quotes have always governed my life, especially now more than ever. That is some great wisdom. Something requires you. That is the phrase for today. Thank you for this wisdom, DeAndre. I like that. Something requires you. I might actually have to put it on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> I may put it on Facebook, too. <laughs> this has uh, been an honor and a gift being able to chat with you and to learn all these great things about reading two million pages and all of the wonderful businesses that you have going on. Thank you for sharing with us today. Of course. If there's anyone who's interested in joining the Main Street Academy, uh, we're actually doing open enrollment right now, actually. Uh, so they can go to www.tmsa.org. We are a K-8 school, so they will be. They are able to, uh, we, or we do a lottery, so uh, if the individuals are interested in enrolling their kids into our program, definitely go, go on the website uh, and definitely enroll. Uh, there and then of course what we'll do is a lottery uh, in about a month or so uh, and we will hopefully have you join us at the, at the Main Street Academy family where we say who's leading the way TMSA and so we're hopefully we're doing that with this Read 2 Million Challenge. After listening to DeAndre Pickett hopefully you are feeling like you are ready for that reading challenge even if you can't read 2 million pages just try to read more Cheat like me and listen to audio books. And like DeAndre said, we're always reading, whether it's flipping through a magazine or just reading signs or things that you see out and about as you go on your day. There's always an opportunity to read. There is always an opportunity to learn. So please embrace that moving forward. Guys, thank you for listening to this great episode with DeAndre Pickett. So glad that he represented Main Street Academy as well as his own business and brand and all of the awesome things that he's doing within my community here in the Atlanta area. And I'm just excited that he was able to come onto the show and to share some abundant wisdom with us. Guys, if you've been enjoying the Squat Wisely podcast, please subscribe to the show by searching Squat Wisely on either iTunes or or Stitcher. If you are an iHeartRadio fan, you can listen to the show through iHeartRadio. Just look up Squat Wisely. We also have a Facebook page. Feel free to head over to Facebook and search Squat Wisely so you can give our page a like. Guys, thank you for tuning in. You know I'll be back next week to do this all over again.
Jordis A1 Solutions has a fitness solution just for you. For your personal training needs, we serve clients who reside in Atlanta, Georgia, and nearby cities. We also help clients to achieve their goals online as well. To inquire, visit Jordis.com. Jordis is J O R T I S. Your ears have been listening to the Insightful Squat Wisely podcast with Kristen Hester. Kristen is a fitness professional, philosophy professor, and powerful motivational speaker in Atlanta, Georgia. Each week, she delivers wisdom that will inspire and enlighten you to lead a mentally and physically fit lifestyle. Be sure to tune in next time for another dose of much-needed wisdom for the body and the mind.